Hey friends, this is Latif Rope here. Well, and welcome to the new update on Ethereum coin. The price action of Ethereum has dropped more than 48%. And in today's video, I'm going to show you that how this drop can be a very, very good buy the dip opportunity for the Ethereum and how the price action can be reversed and what can be the best buying zone for Ethereum, uh, where we should buy and how this can be the last chance to buy the Ethereum at this price level. First of all, let me just show you this chart that I shared with you at, uh, on January 5. We can see that the price action of Ethereum uh, was likely to form this cup and handle. And I told you that from here, the price action can start the formation of the handle of this cup. Now, keep this move in your mind. We will discuss this move later in this video. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this move that was on the four hour small time period chart, the price action of Ethereum was turning more and more bullish. Like we can see that first it formed uh, this uptrend line. You can see this was the uh, uptrend, then the Ethereum turned more bullish and uh, it was another uptrend line we can see and now it was likely to form another bullish uptrend to the upside very more more bullish uptrend and now finally the price action has uh, broken down uh, this trend line on the four hour chart and now if we take a look at this uh, uh, RSI indicator and the stochastic as well uh, more important is this, is this RSI indicator. Here we received a bearish divergence. Like we can see that the price action was uh, forming higher highs, but the RSI was forming the lower lows. So this was the bearish divergence and a clear indication that the price action can be dropped at any time. And finally, the price action has dropped. And in a very imminent move, you can see that the RSI went to the oversold zone from the overbought. And the stochastic is also... Uh, entered in the oversold zone. Now, if we take a look at this weekly chart, the price action is moving still above the exponential moving averages 10 and 21 on the weekly chart. And we have the exponential moving average 10 at 750, uh, sorry, $784. And uh, the exponential moving average 21 is almost at $630. Definitely, it is also moving up. Maybe if, if the price action will move down to retest the exponential moving average 21, then it will be moved more up. And I'm expecting uh, that the price action can meet this uh, exponential moving average somewhere around $700. I'll tell you how and why the price action can meet this exponential moving average at $700. By the way, if you uh, would like to support my channel on the Patreon, then I've also shared the link in the video description you can find there. It, it can be a really, very good support for my channel as well. Now, uh, if we take a look at the Ichimoku cloud at this time, uh, Ichimoku cloud is still very strong bullish, but at this time, the, this uh, uh, lagging span is likely to move down, but still it, uh, it is above the price action, above the cloud, and the price action is uh, retesting the conversion and the baseline. At this time, the price action is at conversion line. Maybe it will be moved up to this baseline to retest it. And if we change it to the daily time period chart, then we can see that at this time, the price action is already retesting this baseline on the daily chart. But the lagging span is still above the price action, but it is uh, moving down uh, very, very fast. Now, uh, I would like to show you this move of the price action. This is, uh, it is really very powerful and big parabolic move on the weekly chart we can see. And here we had a very, very strong resistance zone as I discussed in my previous video with you guys that from $1,200 to this uh, approximately up to this $1,600 because uh, in the last rally of uh, back in 2018, the price action rallied up to approximately $1,600 on the Kraken exchange that was $1,594. So this was really very really critical zone and I was telling you that from here the price action can be reversed and now we can see that the price action is likely to reverse from this zone and if it will uh, retest this uh, parabolic trend line then uh, it can retest it somewhere at uh, 0 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level. I have placed this re uh, Fibonacci retracement level from this bottom up to this recent top and it can retest up to this level that is 0 0.50. So this is really very important zone because uh, if the price action will 
uh, try to complete the cup in hand formation, for example. Now let me just show you uh, if uh, this will be the breakout zone or the resistance of the cup. And this can be the cup in hand formation that the price action is likely to complete now. And this can be the handle. And the handle of the cup uh, can be up to 50% uh, from the bottom up to top. If we place this Fibonacci tool here again from this uh, bottom up to this breakout zone, then we can see that we have here approximately at $700 or $750, this level that is the 50%. And here, if we take a look at this point, that is this parabolic trend line that is at the same level where we have this 700 and uh, between 700 to 750 dollars this is really very critical uh, point and from here we can have a reversal uh, so far the price action has reversed up to this point uh, very close to this point 382 Fibonacci retracement level that is also uh, acceptable for the formation of the handle of the cup the price action can be reversed from here and as already if we take a look at this weekly chart we are above the EMA 10 and EMA 21 so I believe that at least the price action can reach as the EMA 10 this time if, if it is moving to the downside and it can also retest the EMA 21. In case it will retest the EMA 21, then definitely EMA 21 is also moving up. So uh, they can meet somewhere around $700 where we have this retracement level uh, from this bottom of the cup up to this breakout point. And uh, if we again measure uh, this breakout point to this bottom, and if we place this level to the breakout point, this measurement, then we can see that after the price reversal, what can be the uh, targets if the price will be reversed from here, then our next target uh, should be approximately $2,700. As I already told you in my previous video, that that can be approximately up to $2,600 to $2,700 once the price action will be reversed from here. Uh, so we have the EMA 21 on the weekly chart that is very uh, good support for the price line. And you can see that the price line is using this support very well since this bullish reversal, uh, bullish rally has been started. So it is possible that before the next bullish move, the price action will retest this EMA 21 and it will also retest this uh, parabolic uptrend line and it will also complete this formation of the cup and handle uh, pattern. And from here, it will be reversed and a very, very imminent move can be up to 26 to $2,700. So uh, therefore, I'm expecting a bullish reversal so far and a formation of cup and handle. And if this move will be happen, then it can be the last chance to buy the Ethereum at this price level that is below $1,600. So this can be a very, very golden opportunity to buy the dip this time. And uh, Ethereum is also working as a leading indicator, the leading cryptocurrency for the other crypto uh, altcoins as well. So uh, we can expect that once the price action will be reversed from here, then it can also lead the other altcoins to start uh, start the bullish re reversal and the next bullish rally to the upside. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the video. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And if you would like to uh, support me on the Patreon, then I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. Take care. Goodbye.